Hi everyone, this is Randy and welcome back. For my next project, I'm going to be giving this mid-century dresser a modern makeover. It was marked Bassett Furniture, so I knew that it was a quality piece of furniture for the time and it was in pretty good shape. It did have a laminate top, which I'm sure they put on for durability, but it's not the most attractive thing. And one of the handles was broken, so I will be replacing those. I would have kept them because I kind of like those. I'll keep those for another project, but I'll be replacing all the hardware. Let's get started. You can always tell a laminate surface because it is super, super glossy. And what laminate is, is it's just a uh, material, synthetic material, where the wood grain is actually printed onto it. After my last project, I noticed that my scraper blade was getting a bit dull. I had already switched it around, so both sides were dull. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off and give it a little sharpen. I found these diamond sharpening plates on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description, but they were under $15. So I'm just spraying a little water on there for lubrication and it's just taking my blade and rubbing it around on there. And boy, does it make a huge difference having a sharp blade for your projects. I always try to save and highlight the beautiful wood grain on pieces if I can. Uh, these drawers were in really good shape and so they were great candidates for that. And you can see my sharpened blade is working really, really well. I always try to scrape and sand outside just because it saves on the mess in my garage. I'm scraping the sides because I'll be staining those as well.
I'm giving the top a really good scuff sand, otherwise the paint would never adhere to that shiny, smooth laminate. The detail between the two bottom drawers was actually plastic, and I've seen that on other pieces, so I also scuff sanded that because I'll be painting that as well. I'm sure the manufacturers made these out of plastic because making them out of real wood would be very expensive and it would keep the costs down for the normal consumer. And my leaf blower makes cleanup outside really easy to get rid of all that sawdust. Although it defeats the purpose when I forget and leave my garage door open and blow all the dust right in there. For the drawers, I wanted them to go from dark to light as you proceed from the bottom to the top of the dresser. I used the same dark stain that I used on the bottom drawers for the sides as well. On the middle drawer, I went over the bottom section one more time with the stain just to give it a little darker tone because I wanted an even progression from dark to light as you go from bottom to top. And then the top drawer, I am going to leave natural wood. I'm not staining that one at all. For the surfaces that I'm going to be painting, I'm going to be using this Kills Primer especially the top that was that laminate, just because I want the paint to have something a little extra to grip onto. And I'm just using a little smaller artist brush to get into the grooves and crevices of this detail. I did two coats of the primer and in between the coats I sanded it down with a 320 grit sanding sponge just to knock down any dust nibs. My color palette inspiration for this project comes from the classic mid-century Eames chair. I used a wet sanding sponge in between the two coats just to smooth everything out.
two coats of poly for the drawers and the sides and three coats for the top. I just want to take a second to thank everyone for all the amazing comments I've been getting on the videos and for everyone who has subscribed. You guys are the best. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that button down below. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Thanks again. And because one of the poles was broken, I got brand new hardware. I could not find any poles that coordinated with the poles that I got for the top drawer that were two screws, one inch on center. So I got poles that just had one screw. So I had to mark and drill new holes for the new poles. I did leave the old ones because the new poles will cover those holes up in case somebody wanted to change it later. And now we'll get a look at before and after.